Okay. What I find amazing is that Rick had the seminar right in the city. Okay, this is James P. Madonna of the Facebook group, the International Brotherhood of Apollovans, uh, Mega Life 21, Progressive Discussions, International Brotherhood of Apollovans. Feel free to join the group. I am here with circular competitive strength athlete Jeff Zambello. Okay, he drove far, very far. 16 hours to attend Mr. Mace Man's uh, Mace Swinging Seminar in um, uh, on Garibaldi Avenue in Lodi, New Jersey, at the New Breed. Is that yeah, the New name Breed of it, Fitness. the New Breed Fitness, and and uh, we are here at the uh, Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet in, on Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And unfortunately, I can only get my guess which is fine i cannot get a panoramic i don't have the capabilities of uh, shooting a panoramic of the both of us but that's okay unless unless i turn the thing back and if i go back and forth back and forth but you've seen enough of me you people out there you jabronis so you know we're going to focus on mr zambello i, I call them jadrulos jadrulo <laughs> He's laughing. Of oh, course, she knows I have a, I brought the lemons, but all right. You know what? Lemon on lemon on grape leaf is actually good. Yeah. Yeah. I also that, like um. I also like um. Tzatziki sauce. Oh, that go that that on go, the grape leaves. Does the, isn't that the white uh, uh, yogurt cucumber yeast? Yogurt. They put on gyros. Yep. We call them yeros. Yeah, you know, oh, you know what's funny? The uh, the it was an Arby's commercial, you know, with the, um, the we we need they they played a song from the '80s. We need a hero. Oh and yeah. They go, we need a hero. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, tzatziki sauce is very good on that, on the grape leaves. I love tzatziki. It's got yogurt, dill, and uh, cucumber. Yo yogurt, dill, and cucumber. I, I love cucumbers. Cucumbers are um, actually cucumbers are in the um, the melon family, if I'm not mistaken. It's a fruit used as a vegetable, like a tomato. Do you grow cucumbers in your backyard? What kind, what kind of vegetables? Not this year, but I'll tell you what I got. I put the first time that the seeds from the dollar zone the dollar store oh yeah are growing because maybe it's the cool nights warm days and a lot of rain yep but i got green beans on the north side of the house and jersey beef steak tomatoes mm. from seed they grow them on their own mm. then i got i planted serrano chilies that haven't sprouted yet all the perennial herbs i have sage uh, well, the sage is, is the biggest grower. Um, I got garlic chives. Hmm. Got a whole bunch of perennial stuff. Akinacea flower. Oh, yeah. Which so is great for the immune system. Yeah. Gee whiz. So you don't have to go spend all that money on supplements then? Go Akinacea. I still order supplements like from Swanson Vitamins. So, where do you put the echinacea on, like, salad and stuff, or? Yeah, make tea. Same thing with the, with the sage. Sage is very medicinal. Oh. So, you get special permission to bring the beer in? Yeah, because I said so. Oh. <laughs> That's the permission. <laughs> Hearty Cheers. Boss. Cheers. The way very special and epic seminar 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 uh, epic or epoch or well, enoch remember enoch in the bible yeah oh, you know they left that book out mm -hmm. also the writings of uh, mary uh, magdalene they left out
Book of Enoch, when the uh, when the de uh, demons came to Earth and had intercourse with uh, mortal uh, hu right. human women, and and, and, and they created uh, wicked giants. That's right. As their offspring. The and not the Amalekites, the Ammonites, not the Ammonites. They're called. King, King Og. Anima? Anamites? Is that a fleet? Anamites. Anim it might be the Anamites. The fleet Anamites. Something like that, yeah. No, but it, it, it did a Malachite. <laughs> I know you, man. I'm only yeah. joking with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think God, like, imprisoned them somewhere in another dimension or something. Yeah. Put them somewhere. Yeah. They were giants. They were, like, they were giants. And he commanded somebody to kill them. Was it Enoch? Who, who was supposed to kill those guys? You know what? I have met, it's such a, look a vast, it's such a vast book that to be able to remember every detail. Yeah. I know. I know. What one look that up in Genesis? I have to ask Brother Bob. Brother Bob. He's an amazing gentleman. He's he's a disabled guy. He has Asperger's syndrome. Oh yeah. But he has a computer for a brain. He knows all the verses everywhere, every yeah. which way. Yeah. Like uh, Dustin Hoffman when he was counting. Oh yeah, Rain Man. Rain Man counting uh, at the casino, blackjack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm like um. Uh, Jesse Duplessis. Remember the $54 million airplane guy? Jesse Duplessis? Yeah. Oh, the TV evangelist. Yeah, there's people starving out there and they're giving away all the. Yeah, well, look at Joe Osteen. Hey, listen, a pastor, I'm glad you brought the subject up. Anyway, uh, Genesee Cream Mail, gotta love it. Good price Four dollars and forty-nine cents for a six-pack, and it tastes <laughs> outstanding. Genesee Cream Ale, remember me, James P. Madonna. Don't forget me, you jabronis, or, or you never hear the end of it. Send a little royalty our way. <laughs> right, and send something. <laughs> Jeff Zam Zambello in. Uh, in U.S. funds, please. <laughs> yes, the province of New. Or we want Krugerrands, gold, or. Well, the I'll, I'll take U.S. money because U.S. money. It, they still make the balloons, gold it's, doubloons. It's one point three is the exchange rate. So, yeah. Why that happens is because Can Canada needs exports. So, um, yeah. Trudeau. Trudeau's a liberal socialist. He's very unpopular now. You know, they he, want to vote him out. He should grow a lot of hemp. You know, like like the like the founding fathers of the United States, they grew. grew no, hemp. they are, they are, and um, actually, there's a laboratory in, in coming to the city of St. John, where I live, that's based in Ontario, and it has the cannabis oils and a little bit of oil. And uh, it's for medicinal purposes. No, even even as a material superior, Betsy Ross, the first flag. Oh yeah, that was hemp. Yep, I heard that for the first flag. That was, I mean, I mean, uh, Washington, Jefferson, they grew it. Well, I'm gonna go get some grape leaves. I'm gonna see if we can find some tzatziki. Yeah. I haven't yet seen that idea, but you never know because he he puts out all kinds of surprises. Belly's still moderate. It will be out to here when I get done. Yeah, but it's a solid. Like Ivan Putsky, it's solid. Yeah, it's true. That's true.
I asked the lady, but there's no tzatziki. So maybe in the future we can have tzatziki sauce. Man, that's not a bad idea. Tzatziki sauce is very easy to make. Yogurt, cucumber, and dill. Oh, I didn't even know. And lemon, lemon. I didn't lemon even juice. know that. I didn't know there was dill in it. I know dill, dill is used in uh, a lot of seafood. Uh, Recipes, uh, at least American seafood recipes. You know what I really enjoyed? I was in one time. I stood in Hyannis Port, Cape oh, yeah. Cod. Mm. I had uh, I had deep fried steamers. Oh yeah. The whole belly that was like the whole. Well, I had both. I had deep fried. It steamers. even had sand on it. I'm sure. A little bit of grit. Well, you have to purge them. You got to put them in like I think water and. Flour, flour or something, well, cornmeal. Yeah, you dip them, there's a separate little bowl. You dip them in after you take them out of the shell. You dip them in, and then you put it, and there's a butter thing. And then you put yeah. it in your mouth. You have to, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta take the foreskin off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take yeah, the, yeah, yeah. You take the foreskin off, yep. off the schlong of the um, of the steamer. Yeah. Then you dip it, like you said, in the broth, in the broth. Right, and it cleans all the sand off. Otherwise, you, you, it gets in your teeth here. Oh yeah, no, it's terrible. No, but I mean, I also had what they call whole belly uh, uh, clams. Which, yeah. And I even had scallops. See, the, there's little necks, and then there's the big bellies. And there's cherry stones. Well, the quahogs are the chowder clams, mm. the big ones, the quahogs. I guess that's a, it might be a Narragansett Indian name. Quahog. Yeah, a lot of Indians up there. Um, we have the Samoset Indians in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Uh-huh. We're about the Pilgrims landed. And who helps the... Uh, the the, uh, the early colonists, if you want to call them colonists. Yeah, they they helped them out. Well, the the Puritans. Puritans. They didn't kill them. <laughs> who later who later on accused so many people of witchcraft and went nuts. Mm. Oh yeah, Salem. I've been Salem witch trials. I enjoyed Salem very much in the old days. Every Halloween, I used to drive up. Mm. I uh, the girl I was with, I. We used to drive up. If if Halloween fell on a on a weekend, we went. If it fell on a weekday, we didn't go because it was dead. Yeah. And then um, so you probably went to Marblehead, went to Mar Beach, Lynn. Lynn. Of course, Kelly. Lynn, Lynn, the city of sin, they call it. Was There's a lot it, of, of self-inflicted fires up there for people who own apartment buildings that want an insurance claim. Oh, Jewish lightning. <laughs> Ooh. We have to be on a private page on Facebook so we don't get um, condemned by the Facebook police. Yeah, the hook nose. Um, oh, no, I, I found Lynn to be a little run down looking. Yeah, it is. It's, pro it's probably like a sub blue collar or sub blue collar uh, community. Sub blue collar, yep. Yeah. But Marblehead was okay. A lot of good athletes come out of Lynn because these kids cry. They're not by baseball and basketball. Football, I don't know so much about, but from Lynn, but. Definitely basketball and baseball. American Samoa puts out a lot of great football. Oh, NFL yeah. Players. Yeah. They're all Mormons over there. In American they're, Samoa. they're big. They're, they're naturally big people. Yeah. And strong. I mean, even the women. Yeah. The Polynesian. But, uh. It's evolution. I got lost in Marblehead. I stopped at the Marblehead Police Department. Oh. And I says, uh. I'm lost. He says, I kind of figured that the way you were walking in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he, he, he told me how to get back. To, I was, I, I needed to get back to Saugus. Route 1. Route 1. Route 1. Which is where I was staying. Sorry. Because people make reservations in Salem like a year in advance. Mm. Literally, for, for the following Halloween. Yeah. And, uh, 
That's where Arthur Miller's The Crucible took place. You ever read that in high school, Arthur Miller? Mm -hmm. You won the fuel surprise for that. Remember Peabody? That uh, and Death of a Salesman. You know, the House of the Seven Gables? I oh, yeah. I didn't realize. Nathaniel Hawthorne. I didn't realize how short people were back then. Yep, yep. I had to bend over like. And that was to keep the heat in. Because the heat rises. So then he wanted a lower ceiling. Right. Well, they did everything in the heart. They cooked, they warmed. Yep. Their food, their cauldrons, whatever, everything was in a, a, a hearth, which is like a, a, a larger fireplace. Yep. And, um, yep, now, of course, the homes had no real ventilation there, um, and the beds were like hay, yep. mattresses. And their ropes across the pilgrims, because I, I lived in Plymouth there for a while, and so we went to go to Plymouth Plantation. Right. And they made they had the four corners of wood, and then they put ropes across. That was the, the bed right. spring, I mean, the yeah. box spring. Yeah. And then they put whatever for a mattress, like can't quilts or something. Yeah. It's like uh, quilts stuffed with, with hay, I guess. And then I remember this in high school, we visited there. So what happened is when a, a young couple got married, all the relatives would stay right outside of the new home. Right. And wait for the marriage to consummate and celebrate. Which I found kind of odd because they're Puritans. So you, it's weird, but it's kind of a... a, a well, they have, they have an weird... An irony, not really a juxtaposition. Some parts some parts of the world, they have a weird custom where the, oh, the yeah, godfather the, has to eat the foreskin off the, off the circumcised baby. Are you kidding me? There's, uh, uh, there's a nation in Africa, I saw it on a travel channel. Wow! Oh my goodness The godfather gracious. has to eat it, eat it raw. That's gross. That's, that's a nice thing to think about during my lunch, but anyways... <laughs> Goodness, wow. Well, must be a, a man made uh, well, rule. That's a different twist on sushi, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of sushi, the baby was crying like a. Speaking of sushi, we know somebody who's married to a, a geisha. Oh, yes, we do know someone who's married to a geisha, and, and, and he's, uh, he's Irish. <laughs> But anyway, getting back to to how short people were, even in the Charles W. Morgan in Mystic Seaport, which is a lovely part of Connecticut, mm. near Rhode Island, yep. I had to bend over even more to get when I was inside. That, that the Charles W. Morgan for you people that don't know is the last existing old-time whaling ship, you know, with sails. Mm. It's in the Mystic Seaport Museum on the Mystic River. Mm -hmm. Not, not far from New London and Groton, Connecticut, where the, the submarine bases. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to Block, Block Island, Rhode Island? Never been, uh, never been to Block very, Island. Very beautiful place. It's in the Long Island Sound. I've been to Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. Yeah, wow. That, that's, that's where the, 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 uh, the ferry left, at uh, Port Hyannis. And then I went to the Sandwich uh, Glass Museum, yep, Sandwich, Sandwich, yep. which is on on the Bay Side. Yep. Of, of so you, you went to the probably went to the Daniel Webster Inn for lunch or something. Went to Prov, drove to Provincetown. Didn't see up. much going on in Provincetown. Yeah, a lot of a lot of artisans and stuff, leather, leather shops. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't see a lot out on the. Uh, Public, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like one would hope, like, uh, like, um, the people like, hold, like hold Key West, Florida, something like that, too. or San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, San, oh, San Francisco. The village people, Put San Francisco. Flower in my hair. <laughs> yeah. I've been at Key West. The hot, very hot because so many buildings. Are too, it's too touristy for me. Yeah. Too, too congested. Uh, I went to the Hogs Breath Saloon, but I, I, I wasn't comfortable because it was everything was outdoors. Oh yeah. There's no air conditioning. It was all like, I mean, they did had a roof. But. Did you see anything from Ernest Hemingway, like in Ernest Hemingway memorabilia? No, I saw the Ernest the Ernest Hemingway home. Oh wow. That was an amazing person. I just saw his uh, his biography with uh, Nicole Kidman and um, Clive Owen. Clive Owen was Ernest Hemingway. Did you see that movie? 
is about them two married as a couple. Like she was an outstanding journalist. Uh -huh. She was the first woman war correspondent back in World now, War II. Now was Mariel Hemingway a relative of? Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Mariel Hemingway is a great granddaughter or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I even remember, not to change the subject, the Norman Rockwell Museum. Oh. I think, wow. What was it, Stockbridge? Yeah, Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's, it's right near Connecticut. In the, in the, right Ber Connecticut. In the Berkshires. Oh, yeah, yeah, way out there, yeah. Well, I guess if you were by Hartford, Connecticut, and you went north, you would hit the Berkshires. There's, uh, there's Lennox, there's Lennox uh, North there's Adams, Stockbridge. there's all the way up in the corner, North Adams. I think Stockbridge, though, I'm talking about a different place, because Stockbridge is closer to Worcester. But if you're going out in the Chicopee, Western Mass, that's Western Mass. Yeah, that's a whole Chicopee, different. Chicopee, Springfield, yeah. The, um, the politicians in Boston do not recognize Western Massachusetts at all. Really? Oh, no. Even during election time, the governor just, they don't care. Anything west of Worcester. Yeah, but it's, it's so pretty, the Berkshires. But it means not, it's not really Massachusetts. It's Western Mass. It's a whole different world. You can actually drive without traffic out there. In other words, traditional Massachusetts, New England is more maritime oriented. That's right. And all and the money goes go, there. All okay. the public transportation, all the school money, all the research money. Yeah, all the social benefit money. Because I know if you took the Mass Pike west, you would probably hit Lake George, Lake Champlain, in the Adirondacks. Um, you uh, would you would hit that's New York State. That's New York State. That's up. It's, it's Vermont area. Yeah, the throughway. I, I, I believe you, you. The throughway kind of like meets with the Mass Pike. Like like to go to get to Montreal. Uh, I I took uh, or we took. You go through Vermont, don't you? I, we, Ninety-one we took North the throughway. You don't go 91 North to 93? You know what? We did go We did go through Vermont. I'm not you have to. To get to Montreal? It's Route 91. Yeah. You take 84 through part of Connecticut. Or you can take 87. But then you have to eventually either go on the Mass Pike or you're going to take 84 in Connecticut to go to 91. Right. 91 North. It'll take you all the way to Quebec. So. It'll actually take it to Newington... Newington, not Newington, uh, Connecticut, but Newington, Vermont is the northern, or Newport. Is it Newport, Vermont? Is the northernmost part of Vermont. And that's on the border. I, I found, that, I found a fascinating state. All oh, the cows are grazing on the mountains, like yep. real steep mountains. Yeah. You know, a lot of great, like, organic farming, dairies, yeah. so on and so forth. You know? Yeah, you could have a couple bucks if you want to move to Vermont because there's no, it's very socialist, but you, there's no it's industry. It's very hipster. There. Very it is, and I think if you make a lot of New Yorkers put on there because they get stressed out from working in Manhattan, well, ski, ski as lawyers or the or, 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 or bond tradesmen or, or stockbrokers, they make all the money in Manhattan, then they go up there and, and semi-retire in the 40s or 50s. For those that don't mind the winter, to retire and put it this way: Would you rather be in traffic on the LIE, no. or would you rather be you know wearing uh, snowshoes? And, and looking and whistling a tune on your cross country skis, whistling at the birds. Well, I used to go ice fishing, so I think I would fit in. Yeah. So I had the augers and everything, drilled the hole. Yeah. Like grumpy old grumpy old men with Walter Matthau. And yep. Jack Lemon. Yeah, and I do that. Don Camichi, is that his name? Don Amici? Don Amici, Don Amici, Don Amici. Yeah. And Burgess Meredith played the father, Jack Lemon's father. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Before he died, great character actor. Yeah, I like Burgess Meredith. He was in Mice and Men too. He was in. I think he was in more Twilight Zone episodes than. Yeah, he was in a lot. I liked it. The Obsolete Man. I liked the one where he was reading books, and he had a real nasty wife that used to yell at him all the time. Oh, because he read books, and even his boss got on his yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. And then there was the Atomic Blast. Oh, yeah, he was a bank teller. That's right. And then there's Atomic. Thing there, yeah, but then his glasses broke. And they couldn't read. Yeah. Oh, I got all the time in the world. I think it was called the time in the world. All the time in the world to read. This is, he was it, so happy. And all kinds of canned goods. So he had a food supply that would last him for 30 years, he said. Yeah, but then when his glasses broke, he started crying. Mm. But the most famous would be uh, 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 the obsolete man. You, the state has, the, has found you to be obsolete. Was he, who, was he also the fellow that had all the strength 
Remember in the bar? Yes, 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 it, yes. You could be, yeah, he, yeah. The, the aliens gave these aliens. Yeah. Really low budget aliens gave him like this uh, superhuman strength. You're right. And he was a braggart or something like that. He tells stories, but nobody believed him. Well, the aliens got tired of his bragging and, and obnoxious behavior, yeah. so they took his power away. Yeah. And you know, the bullies in the bar, you know, like, yeah. realized he wasn't strong anymore. Yeah. The Howling Man was a it was a heavy duty episode. Yeah. Now just think of how many superstars how you got like their beginnings. Know all the same things. It's amazing. Like you could say anything. Yeah. It'd be, yeah. yeah. Even yeah. William Shatner had like a few parts. But but the point is that all these mega stars had their I don't know if there was it was their debuts or one of their debuts on the Twilight Zone. It was a it was the pre Seinfeld area era. Because in Seinfeld, it was the same story. You see a lot of these actors today, and act especially actresses, who made it big, who started out in Seinfeld. And made it the old Batman series had, had the oh, guest, yeah. guest villains. Yeah, my favorite guy was the Riddler. What was his name? But there were two Riddlers. There was Frank Gorshin. Yeah. And then there was John Aston, who was Gomez, Gomez Adams. Okay. Like like Catwoman was Julie Newmar or yeah, Eartha, Eartha Kitt. Yeah. But it was mostly Julie Newmar. Yeah. But, uh, um, Guest villains, Louis, Louis the Lilac was Milton Berle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was Louis the Lilac. Yeah. And then uh, Cesar Romero was... Uh, the Joker. The Joker, yeah. But do you know the story about him. You know that, that arrogant bastard didn't want to shave his mustache off for the, for the part? Now, if somebody's offering you wow. offering you a steady role. So he had a white mustache, white makeup mustache. No, they had to put the white. They had to put the makeup over yeah. over the mustache. Yeah, but you can see the mustache underneath it. It was ridiculous. So what? It's your job. Hey, today people people do all you kinds. You grow a mustache of in five or six weeks at the most. Yeah, but you you got a steady role. Mm. You're like you're the Joker on Batman. You got a steady role. It, 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 most of the villains was either Penguin, Riddler, Pen, well, Penguin. Was Burgess Meredith the Penguin? Wow, he did a lot. Oh, Danny DeVito played a great Penguin. Yeah, he did. And and also, <laughs> yeah. What's that like, noise that he makes? Like a duck. How, how yeah. come the pack of the penguins sound like a duck? And he waddles. Quack, 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 I love know. it with a cigar in his mouth. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah, now, now, yeah, Danny DeVito and also uh, Jim Carrey played a great role in the movie. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Freeze was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. His wife was in cryogenics. Oh. She was like, you know, she had an illness. So oh, she... yeah. Cryogenically. Um... Yeah, Walt Disney's in cryogenics, actually. His whole body or it, just his head? I don't know. Maybe his brain? Ted Williams, 100% of his body and his mind. Ted oh, Williams, the baseball that. player. Oh, yeah, Boston Red Sox. Yeah, yeah he's in cryogenics. I didn't know that. And his, some of his family wanted to take him out and, and, and put him in the round, and then the other part of his family wanted to keep him. So the people that, the family members that wanted, I think it was his daughter, kept him in the cryogenics. Well, he must have had a lawyer draw up the yeah. papers. Whoever had power of attorney over his affairs, you know? Yeah. But that was his wish. I read that Carl Yastrzemski was from uh, um, the, the tip of Long Island, near Montauk. Uh, oh. Amp, was it near Hampton, like Hamptons or um, Sag Harbor? There's uh, like the, the I've tip. never been to Long, Long Island, except to go to a seminar. Well, I've tip. been to Great Neck. Uh -oh. No, that's by coast of New York. It is, but it's very snobby. Mini, Miniola. Oh, yeah, Miniola. Uh, uh, no, the end of, of Long Island gets all the Boston radio stations and TV stations. Wow. Like the, the, when you get to the end and yeah. you start seeing the duck farms where the Long Island ducks are raised. Oh. When you get to the tip, there's, there's a whaling port in Sag Harbor. It's a whaling museum. Mm -hmm. Very similar to New Bedford's whaling museum. And then Tucker. Nantucket right. was the start of whaling. Because off the tip of Long Island, you got Block Island, yep. the Block Island Sound, right, they call it. And you got Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, it's all there. Yep. As soon as you get to the tip of Long Island, it goes from New York to Boston. The most dangerous industry ever. The Nantucket sleigh ride, the one they used to get in the little boat to, 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 to further harpoon the whale. They oh called, yeah. They called that the Nantucket yeah. sleigh ride. Yeah, when the harpoon and the rope was attached to the boat. Yeah, the smaller. And the, and the boat. Yeah, that's 
That's unbelievable. That's in the 1700s and 1800s. Now, what's his name played a good Captain Ahab? Um, uh, uh, Patrick, Patrick Stewart. And Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck was the first. Yeah. Now, that, now that was filmed in New Bedford. Oh. The Gregory Peck, the original? Mm. Oh. Everything okay, my friends? Oh, thank you so much, Dad. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Outside it's too humid though. In here it's nice. Why is nice? I don't like I don't that know. weather. You're on cameras, but no, I, I don't like humidity. Oh, okay. James, I, what's I this like... young lady's name? Because she's on camera. No, she's, she's talking... not on camera. She was when she was talking to me on this side, right? Because oh. I'm on camera. Yeah. So what's your name? Carol. Carol? Carol. Yeah, that was Carol. Yeah, right. It's a very nice lady. Now, this is good beer. It's not, it's not, it doesn't leave, it doesn't have a bad aftertaste because a lot of beer has bad aftertaste. So. It, doesn't, it doesn't have any um, um, uh, bitterness, which yeah, comes from the bitterness. Hops. Yeah, oh, hops. oh. But you got, you have to have hops to make beer. Yeah. Huh. I mean, Where's this beer produced? Uh, Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. Which is right across from Toronto, I think. It's on Lake on Ontario. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's up there, and I'm trying to think it might be across. Buffalo's closer to Niagara Falls. Yeah, that's by Erie. Yeah, that's right. Buffalo's you're right. You're smart. And then, uh, yeah, James, yeah, James yeah, I think I think you're right about Rochester. Yeah. yeah. So Lake Ontario. Yeah, the first the first lake. Yeah. Where, um, so, but Lake Superior is not where the um, that song um, by uh, the that's Canadian where the, guy, Duluth, uh, Minnesota, Gordon um, Lightfoot. Oh, uh, 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 Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. You know, nice. there's, there's a there's a craft, I love that song. There's a craft br brewery, famous craft brewery outside of Cleveland called Great Lakes Brewery, and they make a uh, Edmund Fitzgerald uh, porter or stout, yeah. which is like Guinness stout. Yeah, I think it's a, a porter. I've had it. It's, it's, I mean, that Lake Superior and Lake Ontario yeah. look like oceans. Oh, they're huge. And Lake Michigan is huge too. They have an actual tide. You, they have, yeah, you they have, do. You know. The fresh water. They, now, I, I could have gotten the real strong stuff. I could have yeah. gotten the, the Polish porter called Zwick. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a, one bottle will, will knock you in your ass. Mm. This is relatively mild. You don't have to... I mean, I mean, for the taste and, and the price, it's, mm. a, it's, it's probably the best value out there. But I like Yinling. Yeet lager or... Uh, or is that the Chinese beer? No, that's Qingdao. Qingdao, yeah. That has, they use rice. Yeah, oh. uh, Kirin, Kirin, Japanese beer, and Qingdao, you can taste uh, like a sake flavor. Oh, but, uh, I like Qingdao, right? You see, I've got family in Qingdao. Sushi. Now, now um, uh, Yinling, America's oldest brewery, they have, um, 1829, they have something called Lord Chesterfield Ale, which is mm. good. And and their lager is good, too. It's like Sam Adams lager. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, it's like about $7, which isn't bad, six pack. Hmm. Uh, but this, for like- Less four, than five bucks. Like less than five bucks, like $4.49. Can't beat that with a stick. Yeah, and, and it's it's, a, it's 140 years old. Wow. This company, this brewery, and but they have no tours. I was told they have no it, tours. And we wouldn't mind a little royalty thrown uh, towards uh, Boda. <laughs> We're the busy. official sponsor <laughs> of uh, uh, the Mr. Mace Man seminar and or, or the or the James P. Madonna Mega Life 21 with Superman Jeff Zambello. Yes, the, the official sponsor. And, and maybe a free trip to Rochester to, to yes. view the uh, not not the operations. Not the guy who worked with, on the Jack Benny show. He was Rochester. Was was it was the city named after him? He was like a butler for Jack Benny. <laughs> they have the hey hey. Genesee, what's wrong with you people? 140 year old company, you have no tours? You, you, you tourists can't go there and sample your the beers? Dennis has tours all the time. You're damn right they do. And they give a little sampling and everything. Maybe even J Jameson Irish whiskey, maybe. Oh, that'd be yeah. nice, yeah. Tri triple distilled. In Ocean Spray in Plymouth, Massachusetts, they have uh, tours for the cranberry process. Cranberry box. Yeah, it's cranberry juice like, process. I wonder if they ever make cranberry wine. I think they do. Because it makes make strawberry they make, wine I've too. I've had pomegranate wine. Yeah, they do. And there's apple wine that's made in Germany. 
Yes. Now you jabroni. Oh, by the way, I love a uh, good hard apple cider. Angry Orchard wasn't too bad. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. You too. Enjoy your visit. Oh, what, what's your name? What's your, come on here for a second. Just say your name. Marianne. Nice to meet you, Marianne. Marianne here sitting next to us. Have and a good she night. put up with our loud voices as we conducted this <laughs> live show. I, I was a beautician for 15 years, so I learned to do now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but we're more we're more interesting than uh, than a bunch of ladies I know, that are dry. I know what I she's know. talking about. Where I'm from, all they talk about wait, this is the America of Canada, so it's very economic depressed, very poor class. All they talk about in the lines at the bank, are you waiting in the long line at the bank? Yeah. is about who's in the hospital, who's dying, who's got cancer, who just had heart surgery. Who, it's like in other words, the, the, will you celebrate life? In, in other words, they're obsessed. Yeah, they're, 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 I live in a senior citizen building. Yeah. Okay. In order to get into the building, you have to die. Someone has to die. Someone has to die to yes. get in because the For rent the next, is so reasonable. Yes. Oh. Okay, we pay according yeah. to yeah. how much uh, our social security yes. is. Okay. Yeah. So, like, someone has to die. Oh, for another special. Person to get in. Oh, if you, if you advertise, if you import. Uh huh. You're welcome. So most of, I mean, I'm 71. So if so somebody, have, if somebody imports uh, over Mama 55, Wana. yeah, you know, to live there. Yes. Yeah. If somebody so imports Mama Wana, they can use you as a model. Is it a the advertisement? Or is it a nursing no, home? No, no. It's just a senior citizen oh, building. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But most of the people have that live there now have lived here for like 20 years. Whoa. So they're up in age. Yeah. They got one foot on the banana peel and one foot and in the grave. let me tell you, okay, all they talk about, okay, is they talk about this one, they oh. talk I mean gossip. Gossip is not the word, okay? Wow. That's all, that's what we had to live well, with. Well, you know what? There's funny gossip with a oh, funny no. story and there's right. petty, there's petty gossip. It's like this one did this to this one, and this oh. one did this to this one, and it's like, did you hear what this one did? Did you wear your earplugs? I just go up to my, I say, hello, how are you? Have a nice yeah, Merry day. Merry Christmas, yeah. And I go up to my apartment, Listen, okay? I, I, I can't be bothered with that. I have a 90-year-old lady living upstairs by herself. She doesn't want no caregiver. She doesn't want to go in no home. No. Okay, her, her, she's a widow. Yeah. She asked me a thousand and one questions about everything, everything. If I'm in the backyard doing something in the garden, what are you doing? What are you planting? Well, what's growing? How come you're planting that? What? The, I mean, but that's okay. But you know, but that's and but she she's probably bored. Maybe she's bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but she's not gossiping. She's just trying to get involved. But she she wants yeah. to talk back with you. She just wants someone. She to wants a friend. Talk. Sometimes they're lonely, right? Lonely. Yes. yes. And, and probably ignored. You know, but it's just you know, it's like they sit outside and they talk. When you walk by, they yes, they. Oh boy. And the Have beauty nice part. See you, Marianne. God bless you, dear. Thank you. You know, she's right about about uh, people that have, I guess, a lot of time in their hands and yeah. and uh, they, they don't know what to, they, they probably don't have a lot of exciting things happening. They in don't their have lives. any friends, but their family party doesn't even visit them. Yeah, maybe their kids don't even pick up the phone. Yeah. Or, or go visit you them. You see? She mm -hmm. looked great with her gold. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I know it's a little blonde highlights. Yeah, yeah but you know, 71, that's nice. She's 71, yeah. Yeah, and the woman. 79? 71. She's 71? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. She did this. Yeah. 71. Yeah, 71. 71. Yeah, 71. So, now, I know a woman who's 85 who drives around my everywhere. Color, my color is 74. Oh. 74? Yeah. And he has, and he has yeah. and he has a young daughter like you. Yeah. yeah. Well, anybody could be a father yeah. at any age. It don't. It, yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. But a mother has her, you know, can only be a mother. Yeah. Until she has a uh, menopause. Right. And that's it. Yeah. And then, yeah. They would call it menopause instead of uh, femopause. You know, men, men Yeah. Men oh, as in menzies. When yeah, when the uh, menstruation, the, the whole the hormones change and they yeah. Start having uh, female attributes. 
Yeah, the voice, uh, like um, uh, Beatrice Arthur, her voice started getting deep before she died. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she started talking Does like she have this. a little, a little uh, five o'clock shadow? Five o'clock shadow. All right, I'm going to get up and I'm going to check the sushi. Now, there, now, there's definitely pros and cons connected with the loadable mace. You mentioned instability, yep. unstable. Noisy. Noisy, you mean as far as the sloshing? Yep. Didn't somebody invent a, a slosh tube at one time, an exercise device that was like a PCV pipe where you put the shake sand weight? or it was, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Caracas that they go. Maracas? Oh, Maracas, yeah. No, it's a, it's a, a long PCB pipe, and you put water in it, but only like 50%. Mm. Rick, Rick knows it well. Yeah. And you, you tap the ends. Yeah. And you use it for exercising, and as as you're moving, it's like the, the yeah. weight distribution is, is constantly shifting. So why don't you just go put a pair of skates on and go skating around the rink? They call it a slosh, a, sl a, a slosh. Yeah. Like it's like a shake you, weight. You know what? It, it's like, I, you know, it's like Rick, I agree with him. Rick's a purist when it comes to mace lifting. And um, Rick says, if you're going to lift a mace, lift the mace. Do the 360s, do the 10 by 2s. No, start with a light mat. What, what would be a good beginner's mace for a guy with seven pounds to ten pounds? Fi like fifteen would be for somebody with strength, strength training background. Right? I would do ten pounds at the most when you first start to get the form. Right. Form is everything. Otherwise, you get bad elbows or you get bad shoulder, but bad elbows most likely. Then, when you get the form and the rhythm, and you know how to use your hips and everything else. Even, then you move up to 15. Yeah. Even for a former The most I go to is 20, and I get a heck of a workout because I like my joints the way they are. Yeah, well, well Kent Deason told me uh, MMA fighter Josh Bar Barnett is yeah. two, 275 pounds, and he only uses 25-pound mace. Right, because he does it right. Right, that's what it's meant for. These guys who do 50 pounds, and I'm on camera, and I say this to all of you, Take those goddamn elbow sleeves off your goddamn arm, you fucking show offs, and and do 25 pound mace or 20 pound mace, and then show me what you got. Okay? It's, it's like, do you do God a bench press? Every motherfucker that does 50 pound mace or 45 pound mace, the 20 kg, which is 44 pounds, all of them have bad elbows. Show me one guy who's not wearing an elbow sleeve. You ever see the, the those kids in India that that are swinging the um, the gigantic homemade goddess, mm -hmm. and they could their form is is a, a comedy show. They're they're so they shoulder it. They they, they 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 it's sloppy. They look like they're gonna they're gonna. But they only do one or two reps anyway. End up in a hospital. Yeah. Right. But they don't do like a 50 reps or 100 reps with no. the 44 pounds. Of it's a few. Yeah. That's why the elbows get all screwed up because your tissue is your tissue. It's not your muscle. And if your ligaments and your tendons and the bone spurs, mm -hmm. it's tissue that only takes so much. It's like I got a little four cylinder um, Nissan Micro that I drove from Canada to save some money and gas. That car can only go so many RPMs without blowing up. And that's what happens these people's elbow. So smarten up, tough guys. Well, people people have been cheating with up. traditional weightlifting exercises also. The the, the the curl, you know, swinging, arcing the you know, yep. arcing the back when you're bench pressing. It's okay to do cheat reps at the end of the set for bodybuilding purposes, but you don't cheat the whole time. Yeah. Otherwise lighten the weight, do the proper form, get the the, the range of motion, and then you could cheat at the end with less uh, range of motion, so your time under tension, and that gives you the pump. That's what Arnold Schwarzenegger was saying in his one of his early books. Uh, I think it was Education of a Bodybuilder, where he says, "Do the bench press, focus. Do the bench press with strict form and full range of motion, and then you'll see the difference. How much how much less weight weight you yeah. end up using." Yeah, and it's better for you. Because nobody cares. Like it, nobody in this restaurant cares how much you can bench press or military press or have on on the end of a mace. 
Now that game is how beautiful the mace looks, the mace form. When I watch James with his Persian meals later on, I'm looking for the form. I don't care how heavy those meals are. The, the um, and, and, and longevity as a fitness enthusiast, are you, are you training well into your golden years? Or is the only thing golden your, is going to be your urine? Right. Like, in other words, how how much longevity as an athlete will you have? Will you be decrepit by the time you're no, they'll be crippled. 60, 65? Crippled. Multiple surgeries, they have scars all over their shoulders, kneecaps, elbows, everything. Carpal tunnel syndrome, everything. Yeah. I mean, you know, but this is what annoys, annoys me on, on social media, on fitness groups. Right away, people want to know. How much does it weigh? How much could you curl? How much could you bench? Eh, how much does it weigh? They, want, they all want to know, first question, how much does it weigh? Uh, okay, it weighs this amount of pounds. Well, what kind of form are you using? Yeah, what kind of form? Form is everything. Can you, can you bench press with a pause grip? Can you have that? In the competition, they want a one second to two second pause, then the judge says press. Yes. You don't push with your chest, you go push with your lats. So, so the press. judge makes sure you are strict form. Because if you're gonna steal somebody's world record, if you want a world record, the judge wants to protect the guy who already has the world record. So when somebody else takes it away, they really earned it. So when Ted Arcidi Ted Arcidi set that bench press record. Yeah, when he was on roids, but go ahead, yeah. That's okay. Of course. If you, if you, people, want, if you want to die young, that's that's just the people on the juice never admit it. They they really they didn't admit that. That was not them. And oh, 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 but stewards, they don't give the strength. Um, they give you the ability to recover. It's cheating. You're you're supporting the the, the illegal drug um, cartels that sell drugs to high school kids. So yes, this is why I, Mark McGuire, uh, Jose Canseco, uh, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa all the the records so they that did barry a, bonds juice at all or not okay barry bonds uh, uh with the asterisk probably at the end you know mm. about uh supposedly breaking uh hank aaron's record hank aaron was old school yep old school started out with the milwaukee braves yep which originally was the boston braves yep the curse of the band no, actually, Babe Ruth. That was the Red Sox. No, Babe Ruth retired. Of course, of, of, the, of the Bambino is, he, is a tribute to the, uh, the Red Sox for trading him. He was, a, he was a great pitcher. People yep. didn't realize he was Babe a great, Ruth. Was. Great pitcher. First two seasons of his career, then, then he left it. And, but, he, but he retired with the Boston Braves. I mean, I mean before he hung it up. His, I think his legs went on him. He had spindly legs and a barrel-shaped body. But people don't also don't realize the Baltimore He's also Orioles. also a nice man. He gave a lot of money to charity because he was an orphan. He lived in an orphanage. Well, he, he, he started out, his father owned a saloon on, on Pratt Street in Baltimore. He wasn't an orphan, orphanage. He got, he got into a lot of mischief and a lot of trouble. He understand, he understood the poor. The plight, the plight of the poor. Yep. Now the, there were- He always took pictures with kids. He loved kids, right. Right, he loved kids. Now, what he did was, there was a Baltimore Orioles that moved to New York to become the New York Highlanders, and then later they changed the name to the Yankees. So, oh. the, so in fact, the, word, the, the, the name the Baltimore Orioles is older than New York Yankees. That's, that's the history of the team. But, but Babe Ruth, that's how Babe Ruth ended up in New York. But... No, actually, I take that back. He was a Red Sox. You're right. Red Sox didn't get traded. <laughs> and that was the curse. From 1918. And then they won their first World Series in right. 2004? Right. 2004, I think. Now, the Black, the, the Black Sox scandal was when the Chicago White Sox yeah. threw, threw the World Series? For, yeah. For gambling? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like Pete Rose did what he did. Uh, White shoes or something. Like Joe, what was his name? Joe White shoes or something. Mm. 
I know, I, I know the scandal was way the hell back, and it was uh, way even before it was way before the 1927 Yankees. You know, when they had Lou Gehrig and Tony Lazari, whatever his name was, and Babe Ruth, right? The, 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 that infamous uh, team. Black Sox scandal. You know, the, the original baseball glove was just a leather work glove that was designed to to knock the ball down because oh. the, the catches were beaten. See, they used, they used to pitch underhanded, like a softball game, oh. originally, when the, the game started. Mm. So, but the problem was that the catchers were catching barehanded and the, their hands were getting messed up. Oh, yeah. So one catcher says, my hands are, are, are destroyed. He went and got a pair of thick uh, leather work gloves, and that evolved into the first baseball mitt. Oh yeah! So it was the catcher was the first to have a mitt. Mm. And then eventually got the webbing and it got thicker. Yeah. And then they started pitching I over him. I think baseball is a very dangerous game. It's a beautiful game, but it's dangerous because well, that ball is so hot. The Kirby Puckett, poor guy, he died young. He had what a. He, he was with the uh, Minnesota, Minnesota Twins. Twins. Yeah, and big they, dude. He won a World Series, but he, he got hit with a ball in the head. Oh wow! He had to retire. Yeah. And then eventually he he died. He succumbed to to his injuries. Uh, Gee, young age. Because why? Because of a freak accident. Yeah, it's like someone throwing a rock right at your head. A projectile, like the evil monkey mace in Ireland. Yeah, the projectile. The poor, the poor man in 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 Belfast, Northern Ireland, didn't even. It was really. Yeah, one of the students almost got uh, uh, not castrated. That's what your balls, but uh, decapitated. Because you have to have liability insurance if you own a club. Yeah. Even as a trainer. Yeah. But it must have been the shipping company's problem. Yeah. <laughs> Pass the buck, you know what I mean? Pass the buck, P pass the blame. Down the Guaranteed that a certain someone, a certain someone with two slices of kosher pastrami hanging up, oh, yeah. will be finding it, will be finding an, an excuse. Oh yeah, Cat, Cat's Deli, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Katz's Deli. Or Gatsa. Gatsa's Deli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah stringy prescribing. You know, I mean, not thinking of safety, yeah. which is paramount. Just, just the, the dollar. Yeah. They want, they want a I few thought, hundred dollars for those damn things. Yeah, but things. the thing is, right? shouldn't you be passionate about the sport? It's okay to make a buck, but you gotta make quality products. And, you know, just you try to make things different than the other guys, so you have a quote-unquote competitive advantage. And uh, you know, that sometimes being so unorthodox is pollution. It's tainted. So, anyways. Well, plus you know, a mace, a pair of twenty-pound wooden. Uh, Persian meals. It's like 3,000 years old. This is not, this is not a dining room set or a living room set. Why the hell do some people have the balls to ask for like five, six hundred dollars or more? And put varnish on it to boot so the wood cracks, not oil. And, 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 and a certain someone from Europe that I helped out in, in, in a great way um, believe me, when I say great way, I mean a great way, helped out and de later denied any affiliation with me and, and took all the credit. A guy from Portugal, northern Portugal to be exact, took all the credit and says I'm self-made. He did it. He pulled the Joe Weider. Joe Weider did that with Bob Hoffman. Hoffman started... Hoffman, York, Bob? Yes, sir. He, Pennsylvania. Trained him. He uh, put up money for him. They were partners with the first, I think, one of the first muscle magazines. 
Yeah, but I think Pastrami Girl has a, something in common with Joe Weider. But anyway, yeah. Joe Zuckerberg. Weider denied any affiliation yeah. with Bob Hoffman. Well, the same thing. Same thing with Zuckerberg. Same thing with this guy in Portugal and me. Yeah. He told. He told Zay Ricardo that uh, I, I never did anything for him. Uh, that he he self-made, 100% self-made. Yeah, but Richie and Army was trying to help out everybody, and he got screwed by a bunch of people too. So now Richie and Army said, "The hell with it! I'm not going to post any more Rich, videos." Richard Army McGuire. He's taught a lot of people, and he hung up his. Is the man who taught me everything I know about circular training. I used to talk to him on the phone. He generously gave so much of his time to people. Yep. So And people picked his brains left and right. Yep. And you know what happened? Uh, he double crossed A him. certain somebody picked his brains for a long time, turned around and took credit for everything like, like Joe Weider did to Bob Hoffman. And how a certain someone in northern Portugal did to me. Well, and that's what happened. But we'll remain anonymous. I'm, we won't I'm, stoop to that level. Anonymous. Yeah. Anonymity. Is that like a sea anemone? Yeah. In, in the mimini? It's like a Zuckerberg. Oh, that guy. He just stole. He stole Facebook from those two, two brothers at Harvard. They were on the Rome, the Rome Club. He had to pay him six million dollars out of court settlement. Yeah, and and I would have took my pipe wrench that I, I affectionately call Uncle Frank. I would have twisted his nose off with an old-fashioned nose job. Mm. If somebody, you know, it, 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 I'll be a little skewer. The, so, the, 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 the Southern Italians, uh, you know, they, yeah. they, they, you know what? Uh, a fungulo. No, you're gonna, uh, break, you're gonna break both your legs, you bastard. You know what else? He has. He lives on with his a Asian wife. He lives on this island in Hawaii. He wants to. He wants to throw Native Hawaiians off their land because 700 acres is not enough for Mark Zuckerberg. He wants the whole island. Wow! Did you hear that? 700 story? acres. He has 700 acres, but he doesn't. It's not enough for Zuckerberg. Wow! That that skinny little geek wants the entire island. So he wants. He's trying to throw Native Hawaiians, people that have ancestors that have been there maybe for thousands of years. Yeah, but there's an old saying: that day will come. His day of reckoning is going to come. Too bad he's not near Kilauea, his mansion. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be better than sex if the, if the lava just flowed and? engulfed his mansion yeah. and gave him a nose job to the boot. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Kept him trapped. A piece of lava hits him in the, in the schnozola and he gives him yeah. a nose job. Are you done? Oh, I'm all set to you. Thank you. But we're not done done, but we're like, we're done. Oh yeah, I'm done. But we're not like completely done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want her to get the wrong idea. Uh, she knows what flirt. Know. She's got a boyfriend. So, we're, me we're meant to flirt. Like, we're Italian. You know, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're Italian, you don't flirt. That means you're gonna end up in Connecticut with one of those B I T C H um, Y wives that I saw that wouldn't give anybody the time of day or urinate on them if they were on fire. They're like uh, what Don Don Rickles describes um, when Don Rickles got I mean, rest his soul. Describes his his wife, Dead the fish. Jewish woman, that just lies there with the jewelry on it. Yeah. In the credit card, your hand up for the credit card. The credit card. See my hand? It's a credit card. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's no, true. they lie on their back. Yeah. They'll never ride you. No. No, they'll never get in top of That's position. work. That's calories. There you go. Expenditure yeah. of calories. So that's why all these Jewish guys have girlfriends on the side. Hey, yeah, they call them uh, secretary. Shik they call them shiksas. Shiksa. Shiksas. That's that's a gentile uh, gumal, right? It's a nice moist. Girl, you just wanna. Yeah, moist. We'll just leave it to your imagination, but she's moist. Moist. Yeah. And maybe a couple of freckles on the bosom, and just nice. Just wanna. Moist. You don't even need dessert. That, that's your cake right there. Moist. The moist Duncan Hines cake. Duncan Hines. Oh man, you know, you know, <laughs> Rick. You know what Rick says that. Oh, Rick told us to be gentlemen. We, bring, we, bring we won't out. say why Rick told us to be gentlemen. No. Yes, Rick, brother, will be gentlemen. No, no. Rick told, 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 said that we bring out the worst in him. 
Why would we put another wrestler in him? No. He's not no, dead, what, is no, he? No, no, no. I mean, like... Be like, a man. No, he said it in jest. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, if we got the worst. Like, you mean the, the worst, but the best. You mean like, like, like male macho locker room talk? No, yeah, but we do that in the open because we're not corporate sycophants. We're not sick of fans, or we're oh, not Pollyannas either. Rump swabs. Now, for those that are un, unaware, just go to Miriam Webster's online dictionary. Also visit um, the uh, the uh, or the official King James Bible online, which is an outstanding website. Or the um, the King James Bible online called um, Progressive Discussions. Oh, well, and you actually might just learn something, whether you agree with that the left side or not. I think Jeff Zambello got a kick out of um, my section called Notes on Progressive Discussion. Yeah. The Notes. Yeah. I, I, it is a lot of um, straightforward, uh, hard-hitting wisdom there. Yeah. But feel, uh, feel free to embellish, which is like relish on a hot dog, yeah. you know, embellish. Don't be quick. It's like chirp, chirp. I, I hear nothing. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Was that, was no, that Sergeant like that. Schultz on Hogan's Hero? I see nothing, I hear nothing. They're, they're too afraid they're walking on eggshells. Now, a sycophant. Low battery? Holy shit, we did some show. I guess. I guess Tell we, these people how to spell sycophant. S Y. Capital S Y C O P H A N T. Sycophant. Pollyanna is. Is like Barney the dinosaur. I, I love you. You love me. Uh, 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 you know they look at the. I world. just stepped on dog poop, but I'm smiling. It was the greatest they, they day They look of at life. the world with rose-colored glasses. There, you know, everything's wonderful. I, we love her. I love everybody. Oh, don't say that about that person. Oh no, she's a oh she's a sweetheart. Ah, <laughs> oh, pastrami. Ah, ran, ran. She's uh, a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart, but she sells uh, mace bells uh, to Irish. <laughs> Uh, gym owners uh, who want to decapitate the gym members. We are swing. What, what did what did gold members say? The Dutch, oh the Dutch. Is it true they're tight with a little tight with the dollar? Oh, me put a girl. Oh, me put a girl. Uh, we are swingers, you and I. You toy as a tiger. No, I hear they they they're supposed to be they're supposed to be tight uh, tight with the dollar. But this, they say that about the Scottish too, right? But I think the Dutch guys did not circumcise. That's what I heard. You mean it's like a, it's like a tube, like a pipe? It's they got the helmet. <laughs> they got the helmet on the side. Like a hose, like a <laughs> like a cannoli shell. And there's something they call they call it jankum. I, I think yeah. it happens, jankum. You know that little the little crusty cream that's under the foreskin. They used to sell that in Hollywood. <laughs> They did. Am I still a camera here? Uncircum an, uncircum an uncircumcised schlong. Am I still on camera? It's like a cannoli show, right? Yeah, am I still on camera here? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, because I have nothing to hide. It's like it's like a cannoli show. It's it's a, oh, it's a, it's, like a it's like a hidden turtle. Like, well, it's like a like a, a turtle. Yeah, it looks like a turtle head. And um, like like Mitch McConnell's face. Yes. He's yes. Very yes. 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 Tur if that's such a word. But he ended up with a very beautiful and very wealthy. Um, um, wife, it, no, but she's a billion, a glorified... She's a billionaire. Her parents are Korean, and they they came over here and started all these. Who, Mitch McConnell? No, his wife. What the hell is she? She's the them? secretary. He of looks like a toy She's the secretary of transportation. Yes. She Korean. She Korean. Yeah, her parents are very wealthy. They have a chain of stores. They came from Korea with nothing. They went to California and they they became billionaires. And so I don't know what she's saying, Mitch McConnell. And Mitch McConnell's divorced. So, uh, so he left his wife for her. So Mitch McConnell's not an innocent virgin by any stretch of the imagination. Even though he looks like he he wouldn't know what to do with her. Exactly. Woman. I don't know like how he even got a date with this woman, but I guess they did something political. They they're both Republicans. And huh. I, I read the whole background story wow. there. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, because you have to right away the but first I think thing. it's her her first husband. What a prize he is. Oh my God. She'll be pushing his wheelchair in the nursing home. He's the greatest walking advertisement for birth control that you'll ever find. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how bad his breath must smell. He just looks like he's got these like... I mean, I mean, you gotta like, there, there comes a time where you have to get intimate with these people. 
And if they're if you, if they're two baggers, you know, back for your head and back for their head in case uh, yeah. th their bag falls off. Yeah. That's she's not bad. that bad. She's not that bad to look at. You seen his wife, right? No. Yeah, she's just look her up on, uh, after this. Is it similar to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's a very pretty woman. She's um, she's Korean. And she's the second. She's Donald Trump's secretary of transportation. She's the boss. She's in his cabinet. You mean his kitchen cabinet? Oh, you mean his, like his that, administrative yeah. cabinet? Oh, yeah, the the lawsuit cabinet uh, with Michael Cohen. Wouldn't it be funny if Sarah Palin uh, kept on nagging? Donald Trump for a job and he says, I promise I will put you in my cabinet and he stuffed her in, her, in his kitchen cabinet and locked it. Well, I love Donald Trump, but we'll see how long his marriage lasts with and, Melania. And and, uh, and, and uh, the little piggy daughter of her, which is a uh, Bristol. Bristol, yeah. yeah. That, that, loves the, that loves the pistol. Oh yeah, she does. Yeah. Or is it Moose? She's on her second, um, stick, right? she's on her second uh, kid now, right? Oh, she was uh, given. Well, Levi Johnson was the first guy. Levi Strauss? No, she was getting given seminars. She was giving seminars about abstinence, and then she got she got knocked up. Yeah, again. she got knocked up. No, but she's knocked up twice. She's knocked up twice. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I know all the dirt in these people. This is why James and I get along so well because we know everything about everything. And she she was getting paid rather well for those seminars, uh, Bristol Palin. Yep. You know, some some company actually made a blow up doll of Bristol Palin. I swear to God, mm. I put it on when I had this crazy Facebook group called "This Group Is About Nothing." Oh, is that the old guy who was attacking got... that girl? <laughs> remember that? You might remember the video with the old guy. I won't say too much. There's an old guy that was with the doll there. Oh, oh, was that oh, a Bristol oh, doll? Oh, oh, the dog. Yeah. No, th th this was supposed to be <laughs> a, fa a fact. He was going at it, boy. This, was, a, this was a 75, fa 80 years old, and he, boy. There was a facsimile was a doll of a jackrabbit. This was a facsimile doll that they claim was a Bristol Palin doll. It was but. actually kind of sad video because the guy looked like he was very lonely. Because how could you be like a jackrabbit on a. Um, yeah, how do you get that? Polyurethane, um, Idaho. Um, a, a wooden uh, club, uh, varnish. Idaho. Oh, you mean like uh, the, the former furniture store maker that gets his wood for free in the, in the Idaho forest? <laughs> uh, that made a deal. Iron. That made a deal with uh, with Paul Wokowinski. The, they they had they had a little business going on. Oh, my pot of gold. I see my pot of gold. And he and he gave a quote to a certain <laughs> someone, a certain friend of ours. <laughs> for a pair of tall Indian juries and wanted a fortune for him. Meanwhile, he gets the wood for free. <laughs> there must be gold dust in those hills. Hardy har har. Yeah. Maybe he used the bones of uh, pumas or whatever, mountain lions and grass. Yeah. Potato. Oh, the potato famine. Ooh. But they call it a niche industry. You know, the problem is with your very own customers, there's not that many screw. of us. You just screw them. And it's not like we're Rockefeller either. Like we're just working class people. No, uh, Kaka, Kaka but we're your customers, but yet you want to yin yang us. With the, uh, yeah, I mean, when it comes to cir circular training. Yeah, okay, I don't want circular to meaning, go up my rectum. Right, meaning, include, including kettlebell competition, because there's swinging involved. This is kind of like, what would you call it? Semi circular? The kettlebell, or would it be. It'll be Circuit. Yeah, it's one, it's two dimensional. Two dimensional, okay. It's a very small, like you said, niche. It's, it, 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 there's not a, a lot of us around compared to regular uh, one dimensional linear to traditional strength training with machines and, and weights yeah. and whatever, okay. But circular is, is wonderful because it's three dimensional. I told, I told um, a ma certain manufacturer, a certain manufacturer uh, that will remain nameless and never answer me to make the the mace knob out, uh, out of a, dild a dildo. Yeah, for, perfect for, size for women to to both uh, <laughs> swing the mace for exercise purposes, yeah. and then uh, it'll be multi. It'd be appealing to them. It would be inspiring, and they would aspire to be better at that. Right. Yeah. And and they could they could work. And the husband's be, would be the benefactor of that. 
uh, uh, like, Eugen very... like the eugenics commercial with uh, Frank Thomas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they can, they could, they could take advantage from both ends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, but speaking of eugenics, you know, you know what the catch is? They want you to pay five dollars shipping and handling for a lousy two week supply. What do you mind gonna do so with two what, weeks? So what they call Frank Thomas? What the big hurt? They call him the big hurt. Hurt. Kind of. What are you hurting? What are you to bite my finger or something? No, no it, it's a, it's a free testosterone enhancer. No, but, I know. But don't make the, don't pay like. Don't make people pay five dollars for shipping and handling for a lousy two weeks. Yeah, it was made in some uh, uh, warehouse. It's not a medical park that's made it. You know, went through the FDA and people have done research and development on it and all this other stuff. Uh, you know, so. it's made. It's it's a it's a fenugreek extract that's supposed to increase free testosterone, but GNC is only giving you two weeks worth, and they want you to pay for the shipping. I know. I knew there was a catch to that uh, text, and you know, you, you send a text in, you get you get a free sample. You gotta keep the big hurt in the lifestyle he's grown accustomed to. The big Hoyt. Well, if the big Hoyt is so great, why can't he be a designated hitter for for the White Sox again? How about being a coach for a Major League Baseball team? He's so great. Yeah. You know, like uh, who was the catcher on the Yankees? That Joe. Um, Girardi. Girardi, and then all these other players. Oh, he sucked as a manager. Though. You think so? Yeah, the Yankees. Uh, the Yankees never won the big one. Yeah, but I thought he was good when he first started. He had a lot of leadership because he won all those World Series when he was a player. I remember in the 1990s. The, I remember the 1970s Red Sox: Rico Petroselli, uh, Kali Stremski, yeah. uh, Fred Lynn. Fred I think Lynn. Fred Lynn. Uh, 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 he went to the Orioles. Uh, uh, Carlton, Carlton Fisk, Fisk, and then there was uh, Tony Canigliaro. Jim Jim Rice. Who had a, who was, I hear, a, a, a Dwight a, Evans, who was a, um, who was a potential megastar that had to leave baseball young. Tony Canigliaro. Oh, yeah, Tony, yeah, that's right. He was worshipped by everybody. Tony yeah. Canigliaro. They called him Tony, Tony C. Yeah. He gets sick, though, didn't he? And then, yeah, Yaz was Jastrzemski. Yeah, but I think Tony C died very young. You get, like, Really? Lymphoma or something like that. Oh, poor guy. He died very young. Tony Canigliaro. Rico He's from Lynn, Massachusetts. That's what I mean. Lynn produced a lot of great baseball teams. A uh, great baseball players. They used, to, they used to win. They had a great team. But in those days, it was the Baltimore Orioles were Earl Weaver, uh, Frank Robinson, Boo Powell. You know those yeah. guys. Yeah. They were the winningest team. The Yankees, forget it. They were, they were horrible. The Red Sox used to kick their ass out. Yeah, but the 77 Yankees had uh, 78 Can I take Yankees had uh, Reggie what oh is it empty yeah. oh yeah mine is it will be empty thank you dear anyway yeah I want to make sure I have enough power for emergency calls 